Okay, um, we're in the core and we're looking at how we can move elements around using keyboard shortcuts, what they call nudge and punch. Ideally, um, in the core and certainly in Adobe Reflow, it's probably best to try and use a keyboard to move things around. You can move some elements with, with the mouse, but sometimes you, you drag things out and this can push other elements out of the way that are relative to it. So I'll just create a, um, an element. I click on the element tool. I'm going to give um, it a color once I placed it on the page. So I just drag it out between the guides here. And what I will do is go over here into the inspector on the right. And I click here and I give it a color and I say OK. Up at the top, OK, I'll just give this a more meaningful name up at the inspector. So I'll just call this section dot section, which in previous tutorials we've looked at naming procedures. Now once we've got that, sure we can move it around the mouse and that's fine because there's nothing else on the page to push it out the way or, or, or to get pushed out. But what we'll look at is uh, moving it around. So first of all, if we go up here for the margins, it says percent. I'll just change it to pixels. So the margins are on pixels on there so we can see it moving around. And also when we go into is the dimensions in the inspector, I'm going to change that to pixels as well. So the height is representing pixels and so, so is the width. So this will give us an idea of how we move it around and also how we scale it. And if we can see the scales up there. So when we move it around, you'll see up at the top, it's changing. It tells us here and here, and also it tells us here about the margins. Also, if we scale the object, you'll see it will scale it. Um, you'll see it's, it has the rendering is changing as we're dragging it in and dragging it out. You'll see that change. Um, and then when we're deciding and say, OK, we're fine with that, you will see it will then represent how um, the width and the height are in pixels. Now, what you can do is use the arrow keys to nudge them, and what that will do is just move them one pixel at a time in any which way you want to go. Now, the other thing you can do is hold the shift key, and when you do that, it will do it in tens. So it will go along and do it in 10 pixel um, chunks or steps. Now, the other thing you can do is press Command on a Mac or Control on a PC. And again, using the arrows, you can then move it to the grid. This is only really applicable if you're going, say, from left to right. So as we do that, you'll see it's going across to each of those grid lines and sort of moving along. Or we do it the other way and it's doing it to the right or this one will do it to the left all right so so that that's another way of doing that now i'll just move this down so it's in the middle here and it's on there now we um i'll just change this i'll make it say um 500 by 500 pixels okay i've got that on here now we've done it by 500 by 500. Now say if you want to scale it. So if I hold um, the Alt key on the keyboard and then I use the arrow keys, you will see it's changing the height over on the right there. Or I go use the arrow keys to come in. I use the right one to expand it. So what it's doing, it's expanding it basically by one pixel at a time. So it's doing that. Now if we press Shift and Alt, it will expand it using the arrow keys by um, tens, uh, uh, 10 increments of pixels. Then if we hold Shift and um, Command, or, or Shift and Control on a PC, and if we do that, it will expand to those uh, grids so we can come along and keep them within the grid so we'll do the the grid system so that's uh, alt and command on an apple or alt and control on a pc so we can actually scale it in those ways and take them to the grid dimensions okay um, if i get it to go to the float left 
it will do it in the opposite way. So it depends on how you're floating it. I've got it, sorry, floated to the right. I'm using the um, left key and it's taking out to the left and right keys to do that. If I change that over and float it to the left, um, it does it on the opposite, it does it on the right. Okay, so there are the number of keyboard shortcuts to, to um, move it around and also scale elements, which is a lot better than probably dragging things with the mouse because you might have some problems of pushing other elements out of the way or dragging child elements out of their parent container.